Hi, I'm Nicole Sorace and I play Carlita in The First Summon and you're watching Pop Culture with Pat. What's your favorite scary movie? Check or treat! Hey guys, welcome back to Pop Culture with Pat. So I am so excited to be joined by today's guests. Today we're going to be talking all things The First Omen with Carlita herself, Nicole Sorace. Thank you so much for coming on the show today, Nicole. Really excited to have you on. <laughs> I'm so excited too. I'm so glad. Thank you. You're very welcome. So before we kind of, you know, jump into all things about the Omen, because a lot to, to talk to you about there, um, can you just tell everyone a little bit about your acting journey so far and what kind of mm -hmm. was the inspiration behind you wanting to be an actor in the first place? Yeah, so I live in Italy, so uh, I started acting when I was 11. And I started going uh, to um, drama school because I started with uh, drama and theater. And then I, uh, I just I discovered that I liked more cin the cinematic aspects of the acting. So uh, I tried to study a lot more of the cinema. And yeah, I, I currently study at a uh, drama school and uh, with cinematic. And yes, so I started in uh, Italy and in 2020, so with COVID. And um, with uh, the, like in two years, I started doing like my first uh, series TV. Yeah, it's an Italian uh, show. And then I, I shot just the first domain and um at the end i just shot like um serie tv in italy so where i am the main character and yeah it's going well and i really like and appreciate i'm, I'm just at the beginning of my let's say career and i just love this world man it's it's crazy that you're, you're really yeah you're just like kind of starting off and you already you have a, a show where you're a main character and then you also just you have a, a movie coming out, the first Omen, which is has a yeah. huge, you know, following as far as like the horror community goes. So that's I'd say you're off to a pretty, you know, good start to to begin your career. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've been so lucky and I'm 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 so happy and glad. So the first omen is the first horror project that you've worked on. I was curious, what was your relationship with the horror genre prior to working on this project? Yes, yeah, so I'm a really good um, horror movies lover. I really love horror movies. I've always loved them because uh, my my bigger sister always made me watch uh, horror movies to scare me. But I I just grew up with them and I just started to love them. So uh, yeah, I knew so much about the horror history and then you know having a role uh, in a uh, in a horror movie this big it was pretty a uh, dream for me and yeah I'm so happy I'm just so excited and it, that was a, a real dream and yeah so I've always liked uh, horror movies and uh, I just watch horror movies for my whole life. So I'm curious did you like prior to this did you uh, did you see any of the other Omen movies or did you watch them like since you got the role? No I, I had already seen uh, the Omen and because it was such a big project of uh, um, the horror movies history. So yeah, I had already watched the, uh, the first song, The Homen, before get, uh, getting the role. But then when I got the answer of uh, the yes of the role, I rewatched it and it was pretty, uh, a, a really good memory because I, I just, the first time I, I watched that film, it was just because I liked horror and because I uh, I like horror movies. And then I watched it twice because I was getting the part of the prequel. So, yeah, I was so happy. Man, talk about a, a dream come true to be a horror fan and then to all have already seen like the Omen before and then to get to get cast in the in the Omen, which, yeah, I'm hearing great things about it. I I'd heard that the premiere was like recently and. Yeah, the mm -hmm. early initial reviews are sounding great. So I can't wait to to check it out, you know, this next week when it comes out and hit theaters. So you play Carlita in the film. Uh, what can you tell us about your character? Because it seems like bad stuff seems to happen around her. And um, how did you approach playing the character as well? Yeah, so Carlita is a little girl. She's 12 and she lives in Italy in um, an orphanage. And she is surrounded by a lot of bad emotions and bad people. 
uh, so she has been tr- through so many things in her life. She has such a rough and bad uh, past. Uh, and she is not okay with herself. She has something different than the other girl that the other girls that we see in the movie. And she's different than him than them. And she has something wrong with her. And she is going to fight for her, um, you know, her freedom. So we see her, uh, my character, Carlita, we see her really change uh, in the course of the film because she has never been loved. She has never been uh, felt like, in, like some, someone didn't even care about her by her whole life. No one really cared about her. And when Margaret comes, uh, the main character, she is uh, meeting someone that's that's doing a little bit of a different thing with her. So, yeah, you're going to see, but it's such a really mm, difficult uh, character and really who has a really good story behind. So it was pretty difficult to prepare myself for this role because I had to really study my character and really study the, the, sto- the stories behind this character because I really wanted to make sure I was doing my my best job because I was trying so hard to study, to be like, um, I, I just wanted to do something good for, for people who can watch this movie and see themselves in a little bit of Carlita. So yeah, yeah it's, it's such a, a really difficult role for me. I really worked so hard, but I'm glad I did. I'm really glad. Yeah, no, I imagine it was it was a lot too, just because like you were like said, you're starting off, you know, earlier in your career to have a, a a big film like this. I'm sure there was like some pressure there for you for sure. But yeah, no, like I said, I'm I'm super excited to to see how things play out in the film. And it seems like so far what audience the audiences that have gotten a chance to see it are are loving, you know, everything in the in the movie so far. So really exciting stuff. Um I, I thought I saw that so all the locations from what I can see you know, based on mm-hmm. the clips and the trailers that we've gotten so far. Um, this was all filmed in Italy, correct? Yes, all film. Okay. No, I mean, we shot some scenes, I just remember, we shot some scenes in uh, Serbia. Okay. Serbia. So so most of it, like, in Italy, but some, okay. So what was it like just filming at the, the different locations and, you know, working on those different sets? What was, the, the like, the vibe like? Yeah, it was pretty, uh, you know, rough and and uh, hard because there there was some locations that were so fantastic, and I I remember once I got on set and I go in this like um, it was pretty much uh just a place where people walked around and it was like a park, okay, yeah. and um they really completely changed. It's a famous part a uh, park on uh, in uh, Rome. Uh, and you watch it and you look at it and it's, it was pretty different than the usual, you know. They really changed everything about that place but with uh, because they wanted to make it seem so much more like, you know, 70s, uh, 60s, 70s. So it was, um, there was so many um, people who were dressed up by the 17 styles, the 16 size styles. And it was so fun because I was finding myself like in the past of Rome. And yeah, we shot so many play- so many places. And I, uh, we shot uh, in a real orphanage. Uh, who's, they're not using that orphanage, but that was so much 17s orphanage style. And that was so creepy. I mean, it was so creepy in real life, just seeing that ro- these, these rooms, they were so creepy and, you know, dark. It was so, so fun. Just, it was so realistic. That's cool. And I think that that probably helps you as an actor to be to feel to be like on those sets like that to kind of transport yourself back to that time period, because like, obviously, you know, you weren't born like in that time period. So kind of to have all that stuff around, you have the people all dressed up, it makes it a little bit easier to get into that mindset, right? Yeah, they used to roam so, 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 so good. They used to roam and, the, and its locations 
so much better than anyone. I mean, it was so beautiful. And I think that helped so much with the story and with the, you know, um, with the vibes of the film. You know, it's filmed in Italy, but it's the secrets of Italy. And yeah, that, that's so good. I love when they 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 go like the extra mile and include like little details just because like for me personally, that just gets you so much more invested into the, into the story because you feel like you're you're actually there as like an audience member. I wanted to talk to you about this and the reason being because like there's a clip out there. We obviously don't see, I think, the whole scene. So you don't don't go into like spoilers or anything, I guess. But what was it like to recreate one of the iconic scenes from the original omen movie where you have the nanny and she goes it's all for you and then you know we kind of know what happens there what was it like to recreate that so when i first read the script and i read that scene i recognized it in like one second because as soon as i read that um that you know the line uh, I was going crazy and I was like, oh my God, that's such a good parallel. And that was so fun because I, I found myself just looking at that scene again and searching for that scene in their internet and looking at it just in loop because it was in my mind, it was just crazy to have that. And I mean, they, the, the director, Akasha, she was so great at that. She was so great because, you know, it's not really uh, the same scene, but, you know, it's almost the same. Yeah. And I think that was crazy. And shooting that, shooting that mm. was a lot different because if you read the script, if you read the script, it's a total different thing than when you shoot that scene. And I really found myself looking at that nun, um, really doing what she was doing. I'm not going to do some spoilers, but doing what she was doing. And I, I got so crazy and I was so happy and I was trying to be in my character so bad. But, but when the child goes and I was like so serious, but inside I was screaming and crying and, and <laughs> because, you know, that's, that's a dream. I mean, a film that it's I surreal. really love, a horror film that, that I really loved. And I and now I'm 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 just creating recreating that scene of the film. So yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a it's a dream come true, especially if you're a horror fan to get to, in a way, like recreate or at least like pay tribute to a to a scene that's so iconic yeah. from a movie like that. So that's that's really cool that you got to you know be a part of that. You got to work with you know you talked a little like briefly about it. You got to work with uh, Nell Tiger Free, who plays Margaret in the film. Can you just yeah. talk about working with her and? Do you have a favorite memory of you two working together? Yes, I remember the first memory I got I got I got from her is uh, I was uh, doing um, I was doing just uh, some uh, castings, okay, and they were um, they were asking me for so many things like animastic, uh, animastic, like I was going to be like savage girl, and they made me um, pretend like I was a dog. Okay, and there was Nell looking at me with Arkasha and the people were was casting me, you know. And I was in this room alone with Arkasha and so many people. And then Nell was they were looking at me, and I was pre pretending to be a dog, a real dog, an aggressive dog. And I was so it, it was it was just. A little bit awkward, but you know, it's just work. I was having fun at the same time. And yeah, that's the first memory I have from her. Um, and I, I first thought, oh my God, what what would she think about me? <laughs> like <laughs> she's going to think like I'm 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 just crazy or whatever. And then yeah, that's the first memory I've got from her. And we we really worked so hard for our character because for me, Margaret, uh, for Carlita, I mean, uh, Margaret is a lot of, it's just a really main character of my life. You know what I mean? She, she just um, changes my life as Carlita. She just changes Carlita's life. She comes and she's the first one who trusts uh, Carlita so yeah I mean there is this whole situation where it's so important their friendship is so important and in real life me and Nell 
really got like friends <laughs> as soon as we met we got friends so much we talked so much with each other we uh, talked so much about the scripts about even about our private life we used to hang out and stuff like that behind the scenes um yeah she she's so great she's a great actor uh, she's a, a great actress she's so good she she does so good in her jobs but she's a really cute person and I, I've, I've found myself so good for from with her that's great that you that you guys like develop such like a close like you know relationship yeah. with each other and and I know exactly because there's like another clip that I saw of the scene so I know exactly why you're you're referring to that um you had to act like a dog because yeah there's a scene that came out online where it just shows I think Margaret coming into the room and you kind of come over to her and, and like lick her like her face out of her face that's actually the first scene when where you see me in the movie okay and I'm not anything but that scene is really yeah, good it's, it's a real quick like i think like online it's like 20 seconds yeah. or something like that you literally just see her come in the room and then she, you come up to her and and do that and i was like okay so i can just like imagine yeah doing it, yeah obviously like a little awkward to begin with but it's like yeah everyone knows that you're just playing playing a character yeah. but it makes for a funny story too and it's so important and I, I think they did such a good job posting that before the film because um, that scene is a really key scene to understand Carlita's um, story because it's the first time you see Carlita and you understand what, what she is, you know, and you can see so much behind that scene and, you know, that's the first, that's the first instinct because Carlita feels like something and her first instinct is to do what she did to <laughs> margaret so you just met a character and she just did that to someone else so it's crazy but definitely creates so a memorable for first interaction with your characters for yeah. sure um so the movie I, i've seen that it's being advertised and actually like you can see it like right there or other side uh the most terrifying movie of the year uh, without going into any spoilers, what makes it so terrifying for you, like personally? I've seen it, and personally, there is there are so many things that can make it look so terrifying. And I think the most um, terrifying thing is that it looks so real. It looks so realistic. Everything looks so realistic, and it makes you really feel something. It, it's just. It's not like you sometimes when you see when you watch a horror movie, you just think, OK, yeah, it's scary, but, you know, it's just function. It's not real. So I'm not like that influenced. But if you see this, you really become like emotional and you really like enter in that kind of situation and you really uh, feel like something about this film. A and I really, I really loved it for that way. And yeah, I think that's the most terrifying thing that you can really feel like it's, it's going on. That's going on for real. That's, that's a real thing. It's not, I mean, of course it's not, but yeah. you can really feel it. That's, that's super, I mean, that's super important. I mean, to have, to have a world that feels, you know, authentic, but then, then also to have characters that, you know, you're, you're interested in and care about yeah. what happens to them. Um, so yeah, I mean, you're just selling me more and more on this movie. I, I can't wait till next week to to check it out here. So I'm jealous that, you know, obviously you got to to see it already. But yeah, it's like one of my most anticipated uh, horror movies of the year for sure. So this was uh, the director, Akasha Stevenson's feature directorial debut. What was it? Uh, what was your experience like working with her where this was her debut, but also like one of your first major projects as well? Yeah, I mean, Arkasha was such a really good, good, good director. I found myself so good because she was, you know, maybe when you see a horror movie, you think, okay, it's all chaos and you think that behind the scene it's going to be like the set is going to be like so chaotic and stuff like that. But it's not like that. She she could just make it be like just calming when she had to explain to you the scene she 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 used to come to me and do this and say 
so you're gonna do this in that scene and that was so calming because you know you're shooting a whole or a movie where so many things happen so many bad things happen and she's just explaining the whole thing with that that such a calming and relaxing voice and she was so great and every time i had to ask a question because i has so many questions because i i wanted to work so hard on my character so i used to ask like 10 questions a day <laughs> of my character and she always um she always answered me with uh with just calming and a happy voice she it was just so great because we had to um study so hard for this film and yeah she was helping us so much she was so helpful for for a for an actor is so ha helpful when the director is that like calm and that uh, good with you and yeah we had a we had a really good time together also um not on set uh, so we used to hang out just <laughs> just as friends and yeah she she was so great and i'm so thankful to have there yeah so it sounds like she like almost even though this was like her feature directorial debut it almost sounds like she really kind of brought like a veteran presence to directing this film it's like yeah. That she directed like you know 10 movies prior to before the way that she was able to interact with you and kind of just like you know explain things and bring this calming presence so i mean yeah and especially i, I think it, it was cool too that you guys are both you know pretty new to um your positions as far as like the films go so i think that maybe that kind of helped create uh a bond like between you guys where you're both kind of yeah. just like some of your first big projects it was so great because she she really looked so professional and she was so professional with everything she was doing and it seemed like she was really an expert so yeah i'm really yeah. glad yeah no i mean i i can't wait it's always and it's always cool to, to kind of discover a new director's you know work and especially like when they're in the horror genre because then you're like okay. okay i can't wait to see what else they're gonna do yeah. in the future so so i'm really really looking forward to it He's so, so where yeah you kind of so like you kind of hinted at this like a little bit like earlier so i'm curious like working on a film like this where you're dealing with the antichrist uh was there or were there any times that you were actually creeped out on set i know you kind of mentioned when you were in like the uh, the old orphanage so it sounds like you yeah. were i mean i uh, the the scariest parts of that i think it was shooting the one of the the, the scenes there the, the was this scene that was so creepy but i mean i had so much fun i mean i was creeped out okay but i was at the same time so happy because i i just had the chance to live in a horror movie for real just not looking at it not just not just watching it but like living it and it was so there was some scenes where i was a little bit impressed on what was going on from a movie horror from a horror movie lover that was so much so yeah you're gonna see so many things so many bad and good things you're gonna I see i can't wait well yeah i can imagine especially if you're you're working in a place that like you said it wasn't that orphanage so like had it it hadn't been like used in a while, the one where you like shot at. So it was like, I can imagine a place like that where it's kind of been locked up for a little bit and like filming in there. You'd definitely, you know, you have that like that creep uh, factor for sure. So, yes, and so to scare people who's, who's watching, to scare them, you have to be scared because you have to really, um, it's hard for uh, because I felt that it was the first one, the, the first time because I've never shot an horror movie uh, behind anything, and yeah, that was something I discovered by myself. I was trying so hard to be scared, but I was just naturally scared at, at a at a one point where I was trying so hard, and then I just gave up, and I just I, I discovered that. I didn't. I didn't even need to to try so hard because it was just naturally. Everyone was doing a really great job, so it was so natural. And I mean, that was a really good set. As I say, yeah. It, again, it just it makes it a, a lot easier when you're in an environment that's naturally creepy, and you see these things that seem pretty, you know, realistic in the moment. Like 
yep. makes it a little bit easier for you to fear feel a little you know creeped out or or scared so mm -hmm. for for you nicole like overall just what was like your overall experience of just getting to uh film your first horror movie yeah it was pretty it was a dream because uh you know it was one of my first work so first works so it was a really big project and i felt so little uh you know and i felt so little with this whole project and i was so um anxious because you know i had a lot of pressure by myself i i wanted to do a really great job and i really worked hard so yeah it was just a dream coming through coming true um even just the film but even the role the role was a really good role and i found myself so much uh like I, I i mean that was hard i admit it that was hard but i'm so glad i did a really good job job i i think i think so um i'm always so uh like I want to have fun on set, okay? I just want to go and have fun and do do my things. But at the same time, I really like to be professional. I really like to be serious because, of course, there is a lot going on on the set. There is so many people working hard uh, for their job. Uh, so um, I was always so scared to do something wrong, but they made me so comfortable with everything they 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 just they they used to really help me with everything even their actors uh, arkasha everyone uh tried to help me as much as they can they could so yeah i, I had so much fun it was pretty a uh, big thing for me um not only the memories i have with uh, the people with uh, the actor i mean that's i have really good memories of everything but i think this whole movie is going to have a big place in my heart. I'm going to I'm going to remember that for my whole life, of course, and I'm going to I'm I'm so glad. I'm I'm just really happy because it's now coming out and it feels like it's not real. I've waited like <laughs> once and a half year. So, in some sense when we started shooting, so it's so crazy that now it's coming out and I, I'm so happy that now I can I I can you know talk with other people and see what other people thinks about my work yeah. because I think that's so important for me I'm really I judge myself so much okay so it's really important for me to to hear someone else uh, you know uh, opinion on the film so yeah I'm so happy well, yeah, I mean, you should be proud of it regardless. And it's it, it's super, I, I know exact, well, I, say, I shouldn't say exactly, because I've never done a role that's like probably like what you had to do like here. I've gotten to work, uh, like I've done like extra like background work. So like I'll be in like mm -hmm. a scene or something like that. Um, but I, so I know exactly what you mean, where it's like you film something and then you can't talk about it for like another year yeah. or whatever until it comes out and then once it finally comes out, you're like, oh, I can finally share this with with everybody. So I, I completely understand where you are as far as like that goes. And and now it's yeah, it's finally coming out next week. You get to to share it with yeah. you know all your family, friends, and and stuff like that. So I can't wait to to see the response and and for you to just kind of like get to like interact with with other people as well. I can't wait. I really can't wait to see everything and. I mean, we all did a really good job. I think we all did a really good job. So where the 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 first omen it deals with uh with like supernatural elements, like obviously to it. I'm curious, have you ever had any supernatural experiences yourself? I mean, um at first when I was a child, I used to um you know, I used to believe in everything, you know, when I was just a child. So watching so many horror movies didn't help with this it didn't really help so i freaked out by anything that was happening to me but i think nothing very serious ever happened to me and i think i mean once i just there there is this a little story uh, from i was think i think i was like maybe seven seven years old and um, I was in my room and I was just minding my own business. I was like drawing something. And this whole like thing with pencil and um, 
I mean, there was, yeah, there was pencil in there. The, it all fell out from my desk and uh, it fell and I was so scared and I didn't sleep for like two nights <laughs> after that because I was thinking that there was like ghosts in my, in my room. So I was so scared. That's and so funny. yeah, but, I mean, nothing serious or well, I'll tell you, so like myself, like I personally, like I, I believe in, you know, like the spirits and ghosts and stuff like that, because uh, and I'll make it like a kind of a short story. I've, I've told it like on my channel before, but when I was a uh, freshman of um, high school, I went mm -hmm. to, we have these like old bunkers. They're like old World War, I forget which war yeah. it is actually, but, mm -hmm. but they're old. So we went there um, and going there we made sure that we had brand new flashlights and everything because it's like it's dark you can't like see anything unless you have flashlights mm -hmm. so we get in there we start like looking around there's like there's a uh, spray paint and stuff like all over the walls and everything mm -hmm. and i remember we got to this one room and all of a sudden we were in the center of it mm -hmm. and there was me and like two other people that were in there all of our flashlights went off at the same time and then we couldn't get them to come back on. It was like a good like minute. And then they all came back on at the same time. And I just remember being like, <laughs> all right, I think it's time to time to go. So <laughs> it's time to escape. Just run. <laughs> yeah. So we, we, we all left. And ever since that, I'm just like, yep. So I'm definitely like a believer. I was like, because like I said, the, the, the batteries for the flashlight were brand new. We had just put them in. Uh, so it was really, we really weird. So I'm always curious, like asking people about working on horror movies, if they've ever had anything kind of spooky happen to them. No, I mean, um, I was so many friends of mine uh, used to always when when they discovered that I did um, that I saw a horror movie, they were like, OK, are you going to have like something like ghosts in your house after that? And I was like, I don't think so. I mean, I, 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 I <laughs> hope not. not. <laughs> Hopefully. And, and they were so scared to come, just come into my house. And I was like, <laughs> okay, you guys, you're scaring me most. You're just scaring me too much. Just don't do that. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> I hope, I mean, now I'm, I'm not having something, but I hope I don't in the future. <laughs> hopefully, yeah, hopefully you're good. That's funny that your friends kind of like kind of did that, though, just because you shot a horror yeah. movie. They, was, they were just scared. Even if they didn't know anything about the movie, they, ju ju they just were scared of me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and them being scared kind of made you a little, little scared yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Nicole, is there to, to kind of wrap things up, is there anything else that you would like to say about, you know, your experience of of working on the movie and just to say to all the fans that are going to get to watch it soon? Well, yeah, I just wanted to do some shout out to everything that to anyone who really worked so hard on the movie, because you see like so little of the movie but there is so much more behind the scenes there is so much there is a whole world behind so i want to i want just to thank to, to thank everyone who helped me who helped everything who helped this job to this project to just come true so yeah thank you so much to everyone and yeah i hope i i hope you really enjoy this film for the public, I really, um, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see your opinions. So if you have anything, that, like an opinion, just tell me because I'm really interested. And yeah, I'm so, so glad to everything. Um, that was one of my first jobs. So uh, I was, I, I'm so, emo I mean, I'm so glad and I get so emotional when I do these things, but yeah. Thank you so much to everyone and i hope you enjoy this film because we really worked hard and yeah thank you for everything well thank thank you so much nicole again for for taking time out of your day it was wonderful you know just getting to to talk to you about you know your acting journey about working on this film i'm a big horror fan myself so like i said i'm i'm really looking forward to this movie i love the original omen so i can't wait to see what <laughs> you guys have done here and for people to um to keep up with your your work on the uh future you're on uh instagram right yes i'm on instagram you can just find me by nicole sorace you can just write it down and you're gonna find me okay perfect i'll make sure to put it in the description too so if people <laughs> wanted to to give you a follow so yeah again thank you so much nicole it was wonderful getting <laughs> talked to you and you are you're welcome back anytime in the future 
Thank you so much for having me. I'm so glad, really. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nicole Sorace and I play Carlita in The First Summon and you're watching Pop Culture with Pat.